Hello, hello, hi everybody. Um, my local Wally restocked early this week. Let me tell you what, guys. Other than eight of these megas, we didn't get almost said an explicit. We didn't get anything. All right, there was no new baseball. No old. I think it was like two boxes of maybe Gypsy Queen. <laughs> it has been out since what May or June, early June. Um, we got nothing. We didn't really. We got eight of these boxes, and there was like uh five blasters of prism football and no basketball to be spoken of at all um yeah there was nothing there was even series two tops there was nothing this week it was just a lot of pokemon that's all there was it was bad like what we get to get the megas and i only had to split it with one other person so we got four each so that's a good day right i'll take four that's what i wanted right you know what i mean but uh there was i wanted some baseball it's baseball season let me do a little Fanatics rant right here. What the hell is Fanatics doing with baseball? All right? Guys, you know, I do sell, like, toys and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, and I have different toys, distributors, and stuff like that that I mess with. And they do sell cards. Well, they used to. Okay? And this is multiple distributors. It's not. I'm not talking about one in particular. This is multiple ones I deal with. And Fanatics canceled everybody's freaking orders. They just dropped. They just dropped it. You know what I mean? It's like, you know what the hell? I mean, I'm talking about stuff that I had pre-ordered back in uh, November, December of last year that I should have gotten this year. All right? And they canceled them. They just, no, you're not getting anything. You know what I mean? And they just dropped the whole distributors What's completely. Um, they What they could have done is honor the existing allocations that they already had, all, stuff they had allocated. They could have honored that. All right, that's my that's my gripe, you know. Honor it and just don't put up any more pre-orders. Whatever you put, you allowed these distributors to put up for pre-order. Honor those and then say, you know what? From there on out, we're not. Don't tell the distributors. Don't put any pre-orders up, and that's that. But Fanatics just whatever retailers had ordered, they just to hell with you guys. Drop. We're not sending you anything. You're done. I heard some card shops locally tell me to basically the same deal that happened with them. Fanatics just dumped them, uh, dumped their distributors, and now they're Standing there with their pud in their hand. You know what I mean? It's like, what the hell? Um, total disregard for people, retailers that have been in a hobby for years and years and years. I didn't get much as it is. I don't make a living off cards. I never did. Basically, I was just able to get a couple hobby box enough for me to rip personally. Right? Maybe I had a couple guys locally. Maybe I, I sold one or two too. Just as a favor to them. But honestly, I just got enough to rip. That was it. You know, I didn't get a lot of like regular sports stuff. But... I mean, that's just a little gripe. And then, you know, baseball, where the hell is it? There's no stadium club yet, all right? There's no finest coming out. Chrome isn't going to be out to what, October, they're saying now? October 25th or something like that, I think I've seen. It was on Dick's for pre-order. So if you want that, you can go to Dick's and get it. It was on pre-order. And it's at like $42 a blaster for Topps Chrome Baseball. This is Fanatics, folks. I think they're, they're, they're going to freaking bomb the hobby. That's it. We're all screwed. All right, now let's get the, let's get the ripping. All right, now it's over, all right? But, I mean, it, it, no baseball and no baseball cards getting stocked in freaking August. Where the hell is everything? I can't get over it. I just can't get over it. All right, but I got, we did get, like, some little bit of optic today, so let's get into this. I, I just can't deal right now, guys. I just... I don't know. I'm at the store. I'm like, where the hell's the baseball? <laughs> and this ain't the first week. It's crazy, man. What are they going to do? they just going to print freaking uh, Series 1, Series 2, Bowman. Um, then what? Chrome and call it a year? Is that what Fanatics is going to do from now on? It's kind of like when the... Uh, remember that auto... The manufacturers back in what 08, 010 when they went bankrupt. Remember that? And how they just they dumped Saturn and all that stuff. They kind of like dumped their off under brands. Is that what we're seeing right now? Alright, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Fanatics should be sorry because they suck. 40 trading cards. Uh says three mega box exclusive hyper blue parallels to only 
Only three? Boy, the Prism stuff had a lot more than that, right? It had like five in it, right? Something like that. Oh, you can get numbered cards. Orange scopes to 79. That's cool. There's no numbered cards on Prism, so that's a nice trade-off. Number from 50 to 1 for the gold vinyls. And you're going to get what? Uh, signature series hollow on average. Non-base cards included. Uh, about non-base cards, whatever. It says one mem. These are the Wallies. Like I said, these aren't the targets. So I think the targets may, might be one auto. I don't know. Eight cards. Eight packs, five cards, four cards per pack. Ten packs, four cards per pack. Thought I was eight and five. On a good note, I was watching the uh, my tribe today. Rolling the Padres. Two straight games. Now they're going on to Seattle to roll them too. Nick Chubb. Oh, Pat Firemuth. First blue. That's a nice one right there, but that's the blue hyper, right? And a Cornell Powell. Eh. Yeah, and a Cornell Powell. Well, he might have a big year because, you know, Tyreek Hill's gone. And they're going to need somebody to step up. So maybe it'll be him. Guys, what's your guys' opinion on, um, you know me, um, there's some decent breakers I've met in stores around here. And then there's some breakers that, you know, are grimy and nasty. And, you know, I got to kind of like, you know, stick it back to them a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, let them know just because they're trying to do that for a living that they don't. They don't own the damn store, you know. But most of those guys are pretty much gone by now. There's a couple cool ones left. And that's about it. We got a silver. Allen Robertson. That's my silver. Eh. Jared Patterson. The base. Always sleeve up my silvers no matter what. There's a so hard. You know, they're so rare, right? You don't get that many of them. But the way I think I consider it is, I think... You know, for somebody to sit there and say that there's no difference, that there's a difference between a breaker and a scalper because the breaker's doing work. The breaker's breaking your cards. The way I would look at it, if you want me to break your box for you, thank you. That's not work. I love breaking packs. That's not work. You think that's freaking work? Huh. Try doing a real job for 20 years. You know what I mean? That's freaking work. If you are if you got a bot and you're getting 200 freaking like uh, boxes, and you're having breaks with it. What's the difference in selling the box of sealed? You're still eating up all the freaking product. You're still doing it. There's no difference. You're a scalper. There's nothing wrong with being a scalper. You know what I mean? I'll take stuff. I'm a hobbyist. You know what I mean? I'll take stuff and I'll sell it for profit. I keep I keep a little bit that I want. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I'm not keeping everything. So that's what cards is. Cards is reselling. But don't say, don't say, don't, don't act like you're better than anybody else or there's a difference because there's not. If you sell cards, then you sell cards. If you sell, that's it. There's no difference. It's because you, people can justify anything. You know what I mean? If they really want to. Jamar Chase, uh-oh, what do we got? Oh, it's the rookies. The way it was turned around like that, oh, I was like, oh, man. Oh, well, these rookie cards are pretty nice. That's a Jamar Chase one, so I take it. That is a pretty straight-looking card. I like it so much more in the optic, right? All this stuff I like so much more in the optic than I do the regular Donruss. It looks like a prism, but it's not. And a Najee Harris base. Far we got it said how many three three scopes three mega box exclusive hyper blue yeah three three hyper blue so i already got two and should have a mem coming and we could get a numbered card or downtown that would be outstanding right probably get a downtown especially since i'm probably not going to get a whole lot of this this year we got a what's another hollow another silver Oh, and it's a Trey Sermon. We got an extra silver. I thought it was just one per. I have to go back and look.
too bad there. Take an extra silver. That's two silver. We'll see. We got another one I'm going to rip open right here. So we'll see. If you're buying up retail that's hard to get just for the sake to sell it, and you're a flipper. Don't try to say you're not. I flip. I don't like opening everything. Global. Young Ho Co Falcons. Some stuff I don't really like to open too much. I got other stuff that I favor, so I sell a little bit of that to make up for the stuff that I do like. Trevor! <laughs> Trevor Base! Base! Sweet! I didn't have one of him yet. You know, have I seen you seen the blasters that I got last week? I did get some uh they get some Mac Jones stuff, right? I got like two purple shocks and a base Mac Jones last week. Nice cards right here. These globals are nice too. They all look like that is silver. Maybe they all are. I can't remember. Yeah, I know it's a kicker, but it's a silver. Got to do it. The prism. So far, a Najee Harris base, a Trevor Lawrence base. Let's get something with some color. All right. Brian Dawkins, Randall Cobb. This is sticking. Uh oh, what the hell? Nick Bolton, the Hyper Blue, Rashard Bateman. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up this Bateman, too. He's a first rounder, right? Wide receiver. So I think that's it for my Hyper Blues. I got three. Yep, I got three. So I think that's it for them. I got three packs left. I think this one's the mem. It's thick. So I'll save that one for last. I haven't seen the mems. Well, out of optic I did, right? Yeah, I got one out of optic. Sure. Caffrey. What the? Look at that. Hot dog. Drop it. What is this, guys? I didn't research this is too well. It's like a rocket ship. <laughs> what the? I'm going to have to look on the back of the box to see what the hell this is. Is it a case hit? I don't know. Leave it on, Leave a comment down below. I don't know. I've never hit one of these before. I can tell you that. Prism. Let's put it over to the side. It's a Jerry Judy Judy Judy. Tylen Wallace for the Ravens. Man. Pretty crazy. Got little spaceships on there. Oh, Mars Attacks card. It's a Mars Attacks. What do we got coming up? Another silver? So this is three silvers, and it's a rated rookie. And it's green. It's a jet. It's a raider. Oh, I know about good raiders. Alex Leatherwood. Nah. Ronnie Perkins. That thing is way off OC too, right? Way OC. So we got, what, three silvers out of this. Three silvers and three hypers. I like that. That's pretty cool. Three silvers, three hypers. A mem that we're going to see right now in a rocket ship. Darius Smith. And who we got back here? We got Christian Barmore. Boy, he's a beast. That cat is a beast. I've seen him right out the gate too, boss. I mean, that cat is a beast. Rookie Phenom. Yeah, I had a Najee Harris. I think I pulled out of a blaster one of these rookie Phenoms. It was nice, too. It's so quick. I, I listed it because, you know, I'm a brownie. I'm not a stealer guy. I'm not keeping that. It was a nice card, though. It was a damn nice card. Whoever got it, man, that was a nice card. That thing probably gem up, too, which is hard for a freaking mem, but that was a sweet-looking card. I should have freaking kept that because Najee's a beast, but I don't know. He's a stealer. I got to let it go. It's like I say, you can't keep everything, right? You got to let some of it go. Chuba Hubbard. 
on the base. No, it's not a base. I just like saying that. Not bad, not bad, not bad box. First boxes are always good because, you know, you're checking out the new stuff, right? What's in this Mega? And plus, I'm not going to be opening too many Megas probably because right now I'm botless. What's this? Let me see what this was. It's not numbered. So I don't really know. Rated Rookie. There we go. The Rocket. Rated Rookie, Hollow, Rocket, Teal, Blue, Lost. Just another parallel. That's all. Doesn't look like anything special. Oh, well. Yeah, I don't see myself getting too many Megas because I'm botless. And it seems like any more to get this, like to get a Mega, you pretty much... I don't know. You got to be... Very fortunate if you're doing it manually on any on and getting any offline. The only way I'm getting this stuff is basically through my local Wally. You know, this is because I've been going there for years. I kind of know the routine, you know, or routines. And I live like 10 minutes from the store so I can check like daily. And it's right next to the post office that I go to like three times a week. So, you know, I mean it's it's it works out for me. Not every week. There are some weeks where I got, you know, like, hey, what they do? What they do it on this day for? You know, and I didn't go that day or whatever. But there we go, right here. What well, we got? My house, Josh Allen. Nice. I like these my houses. And a Richie Grant. Oh, it's UCF, dude. Remember Richie Grant? He was a beast at UCF. Good ball player, man. He was a playmaker. How do you do on the uh, Falcons last year? You do anything for you guys? If you're a Falcons fan, you know about Richie Grant last year. They got Josh Allen in my house. Sweet. Let me know how he did for you. I'd like to know if he like was not giving up like touchdowns and getting ran getting trucked. You know, <laughs> he was like a playmaker. Though. I can't remember how he was really in run support at UCF, but freaking that sucker. Pass coverage, boy. He was all over the play. He was all over the field. Raider rookie. Trevor. No. Oh. Man, that would be nice to get that hyper on a Jaguar with that teal. It really be nice to get in that teal freaking rocket. To get a Trevor in that teal. That'd be the freaking card right there. Trey. Trey Sermon. Oh. I don't know if anyone wants to leave this guy right now. It's kind of a. I'm not sure who he is at all. He's a safety. I'd rather have the Richie Grant as a hyper than that. Unless I know who Richie Grant is. TK. Dion. Kellen Mound. It's quarterback anyway. And the last one, rated rookie, Shy Smith. Dude, I got a lot of Shy Smith. Ellen Mound, huh? Yeah. I don't know if you uh, watch my channel much, guys, but you know I'm a Kellen Mound magnet. You get a lot of Kellen Mound and a fair amount of Ian Book, too. And Mac Jones, but you know we're not going to complain about that one. We'll take that one. Got a silver coming up, and it's a base. Kelsey. And we got our rated rookie is a dolphin hunter long. Wow. Man. This box ain't going the way I want it to. It's fighting me. This box is fighting me, guys. It's fighting me. AR. Eckler, we got our mem here. Get it now. Get it now. Who we got? Kelvin Joseph. I got like two shocks out of his out of my three blasters I did last week. Oh, yeah, let's see what the mem is. Travis ETN. Eh, nice, crazy looking color setup on that, right? The red and the teal. Nice looking card. These things are pretty thick, too.
Not bad. Not bad looking cards. Well, I am not pulling the right ones tonight, though. I'll tell you that. Oof. Oof, oof. Oof, oof, oof. All right, what we got here? Got an orange? Got an orange coming. Is this going to be numbered? Clinton Portis. What? Well, he was a beast back in the day, too, right? Wasn't he? Peyton. We got in the back right here, we got a Jalen Waddle. Rated rookie. Not bad. Who's this guy? A rated rookie orange of Amari Rogers. It's an orange scope, and it's numbered. Number 62 out of 79. Hot dog. I got a freaking numbered freaking rookie card. A numbered rated rookie. Orange scope. Hot dog. Sweet. Nice. Hey, I got a top loader right here for this dog sucker. I like never hardly, I'm well, not saying never. It's rare for me to pull anything numbered out of a Panini product. I'm more likely to pull an auto than I am a numbered card. Because they have a lot of base autos that the, you know, guys that don't really get drafted or anything like that, you know. Game the waddle. Four packs left. We got an orange scope. Sweet! Back to the hypers. This is my last hyper. Frank Clark. Wentz. Raider Rookie. Jets. Michael Carter. Mm. Raider Rookie. Jacob Harris. Another UCF guy. This Michael Carter is kind of OC too. When I say kind of, I'm being kind of nice. Three packs left out of these two Megas. Nope. Big ones other than that Amari Rogers. I mean, that orange scoat would have been nice as a quarterback. Well, that would have been Get that sucker in a... That would have been nice in the orange. The Trey Lance. Right? Or even the, uh, the Bears guy, Fields. Ian Book. Gridiron King and a Jake Funk. Jake Funk, boy. Jacob Harris, Jake Funk. Jake Funk be haunting me too now. Two packs left. Getting a lot of Jake Funk. I think what it is is right. The guys that, you know, are lower on the uh, status, they print like 10 times more than they print the other guys. The chase, right? Give you the chase. We got a silver. Alex Leatherwood. Man, we already got that cat. Got his prism. Need a little up on old Mr. Leatherwood, man. Rated rookie silver. It's a Rammy. Oh my god, Jake Funk. Are you freaking kidding me right now? What the? Got one pack left out of this thing. What the? What the? <clears throat> Mm-mm. Well, I guess I can't complain too much. I did have a good weekend with those blasters last week. Because that was last week. What about this week? Got two more megas, but I don't know. Stray hand. Vince. We got a rated rookie silver. And it's of a Buffalo Bill Greg Russo. Man. God. And we got the same freaking guy. This is how I got two Mac Jones out of the same case. All my blasters last week came out of the came out of the same case. And I pulled the two Mac Jones purple shocks out of it. This is how. Same way, right? It was back to back. 
Oh, well, not in the same pack, but same box. But basically, there was I took the four across the front, I believe, in the blasters, right? So it was two right next to each other. Damn. Crazy. All right, guys, we did hit. We did get a Trevor base. That's right. We did get a quarterback. We did get one of them anyway. But no, no, no color on it. Got a Mari Rogers orange scope. Number two out of 79. That's a pretty nice hit. That's a pretty nice one. Probably five bucks, right? No, it's got me. I'm not sure about this cat. I really don't watch like a ton of Packers stuff. So if you're a Packers guy out there, what kind of rookie year did this guy actually have? Because last year was a rookie year, not this year coming. So we should already know what this guy's capable of. What did he do? I can't remember. Leave a comment down below to any cheese heads out there. 62, not two. I'm sorry. 62 out of 79. All right, guys, that's it. Um, like, share, subscribe. Oh, these are nice, too. And, yeah, that would have been nice to get in the Trevor. The Teal Rocket Ship. Bye for now. Off to the next. Later.